and action. Occupation? No occupation. Housewife. That's right. Housewife. All right. And mother. Yes. No, thank you. I don't believe a woman should smoke. I'll excuse me saying it. Yes. I'll excuse you. It's not feminine. How long have you been married, Mrs. Ettinger? Nine years and four months. I see. And 12 days. And you have three children? Juan Jr., he's eight. Alan, he's seven. And Trudy, she's six. That's all. And when did you begin to suspect that you were losing your husband's affection? When he stopped batting me around. When was that? 11 months ago, March 14th. He struck you? First time you broke a tooth. My tooth. I see. Upper left molar. And how often? It's capped now. You can't notice it. Good. Now, let's start with the day of the accident. Oh, no accident. I wanted to shoot him. Suppose we decide later just what you wanted to do. Silly. The difference between ten years in prison and freedom is not silly, Mrs. Addinger. Call me Doris. Pay attention to what I'm saying. I don't care what happens to me. Do you care what happens to Warren and Alan and Trudy? Yes, I do. I want to go home. Can't you fix it so I should go home? Not right now, but we're working on it. Here. I promised my kids I would take them to Coney Island tomorrow. Yes, drink that. Now, you would help us very much if you could reconstruct the day. All of yesterday. Well... First thing in the morning. Yes? I woke up. Yes? And I see you didn't sleep at home. And you were surprised and shocked? No, not shocked, not surprised. He used to not do that a lot, come home. Did you ever ask him about his behavior? Certainly. Did he offer any explanation? Certainly. He told me to shut up and mind my own business. I see. But yesterday, I got worried. Not, not worried. Mad. I got mad. You know why? Why? Because it was the fourth night in a row he didn't. Come home?